Go. Good morning, grade six. So what we're going to do today, we're going to make a Mars rover. So we're going to need a couple of materials in order for us to make our own Mars rover today. So the first bunch of materials we're going to need is three rubber bands, a pencil, one plastic straw, one paper clip, two A4 pieces of cardboard. The reason why we need two A4 pieces of cardboard is to ensure that we have enough materials to build the body of the Mars rover as well as the four wheels that we need to construct as well. Then we'll need a ruler in order to make sure everything is measured correctly so everything is symmetrical. Then we need a pair of scissors obviously to cut the cardboard out and then we need sellotape to keep everything together. Okay learners, so these are the materials that we are going to be using. This piece of cardboard will be used for the body of the Mars rover. The scissor is going to be used to cut all of the materials that we need. The wheels are going to be made out of cardboard. The straw and the pencil is going to, make, is going to be used for the different axles. The paper clip is going to be used for an axle clip so that it can keep the rubber bands together so that it can be used to propel our Mars rover. The tape is also going to be used so that we can stick most of the materials together. The ruler finally is going to be used to measure our materials. Okay learners, so these are the steps that we're going to follow to build your Mars rover. So step one, as you can see, we're going to cut our cardboard into a square that will measure 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Right, now that we've done that, you're now going to fold your cardboard square into three equal segments. Remember, you have to use a ruler to divide your segments because they have to be equal, okay? have to measure five centimeters each because we're doing three segments and we've got a 15 centimeter square. Step three, now you're going to create the axle holes. You're going to do this by poking holes into your cardboard with a pencil. It will be 1.5 centimeters away from the front of what your rover would be and two centimeters away from where the top of your rover would be. Right, so now you're going to repeat step three where you're making your axle holes four times because obviously we have got four wheels. Okay, so there we have got one. There is two. Okay, so now you can make one axle, now you need to make the second. There's a third hole. And your fourth hole. Perfect. So, step four. Now you're going to attach your wheels to your Mars rover by putting the pencil through two of the holes on one end. There you go. And you're going to put the straw through the other two holes to make your axle. There we go, now you have your axles. Okay, now step five. Now you're going to create your axle hook and you're going to do this by taking a paper clip, you're going to straighten it out, you're going to wrap it around your pencil and tape it in place. Remember to leave a little hook of your pencil. Remember to leave a little hook of your paper clip off your pencil so that you can attach your rubber bands later on. Okay. Step six, you're now going to attach your rubber bands. You're going to tie two rubber bands together. You're going to cut two slits in your cardboard that are 0.5 centimeters apart. And you're going to attach the axle hook onto the pencil. Okay, so now with your straightened paper clip, you are going to wrap it around your axle or pencil. After that is done, make sure you leave a hook at one side this is where we are going to tape it. So you take a nice piece of tape and then you go over the one side so that it doesn't move when we use the rubber bands for the propulsion. There we go. Then you can place it back in. We go just like that so this is how we are going to tie the rubber bands together you take the one side through you pull the other side just like that okay then what we're going to do just so that we can make our rover a little bit stronger we're going to take the rubber band we are going to just just going to remove that and put it around the body so that it's a little bit more sturdy 
then we can put this through again. Okay, so the next step is we are going to have to cut two slits over here and over here so that we can attach the rubber band. So just short, small, cut like that, and cut like that. Then what we do, we can take the rubber band, drop it in a little bit, put one side through. Then we put the other side. Then now that you have completed that last step, now all you do, you pull the rubber band and place it over the axle clip. Just like that. Now, Robert, you are going to compare it to the rest of the class and see how far it goes in distance compared to this. Then you are going to do a self-evaluation on your model. Was your rover sturdy? Did your rover move? And finally, did you use recyclable materials? And all you're going to do is put a tick in the columns that you think applies.